So how do RFID tags actually work? Or in other words, how does a reader actually power an RFID tag that's 20, 30, 40 feet away? Well, stay tuned because I'm about to get into it. Welcome back to RFID Made Simple. Today, I'm gonna to go in detail about how RFID technology works from the reader all the way to the tag or the transponder. There are two ways that an RFID tag can be powered. The first is known as inductive coupling and the second is known as far field coupling or backscatter coupling. So what's the difference? Well, think of it as the near field and then the far field. So near field coupling or inductive coupling, when looking at a near field RFID application, you have the RFID reader and the near field RFID tag in close proximity to one another. In a near field RFID system, both the tag and the RFID reader are giving off a small magnetic radiation field. Similarly, when you take two magnets and you bring them close together, you feel one pushing and one pulling, and then if they're the right positive and negative, those two will connect together. A similar thing is happening with your near field RFID tag. One RFID tag has its pushing and pulling, whereas the RFID tag also has its small magnetic field that when the two are close together, they connect and form one magnetic inductive coupled field. The RFID reader in a far field case propagates its RF signal or the RF power from the reader. And once the RFID tag enters into that field of RF propagation from the reader, it collects a portion of that power, turns on the chip, and then responds a fraction of that power back to the rear to be interpreted. Note that the power backscattered from the tag itself is only a fraction of the power that was transmitted from the reader. So there you have it. Those are the two ways RFID tags can communicate within an RFID system. Thanks for joining me on this week's episode of RFID Made Simple. Leave some comments below on what other RFID concepts you want made simple.